We're here with Jake Brown getting ready for our test and tune night here at our Schwiken. And you're, you're jumping up to the Thunderstock this year. You got one race under your belt last year. And uh, talk about the difference between the mini stock, which you ran here for a couple years, and, and this Thunderstock. Well, I just think that uh, anybody who runs a mini stock and jumps up to a Thunderstock will find that it's a little bit different with these bigger cars. They're a lot heavier, but quite a difference not. Uh, putting a sway bar on it sure helped. We never used to run a sway bar with the mini stock, and uh, a lot of thicker tires, the Hoosiers we got on this thing help it. Just keeps on the track nice, and uh, we're hoping to gain on some uh, gain on what we learned last year. We uh, used Terry Toon's car there to uh, give it a shot and see what we did. And we ended up coming from 14th to 4th, and uh, we just hope to build on it this year. Well, a lot of these uh, these Thunderstocks have a story behind them. A lot of them are you know older chassis that used to be street cars. And uh, what's the story behind this car? Uh, we just found off a friend of the families that we knew from racing and he was going to build it. He was building it for about six years and he still didn't have it complete so we took it off his hands for a pretty good price and hopefully we built a winner. Well, you, uh, you started out pretty well in the mini stock and uh, maybe that has led you to, to some lofty goals in the Thunderstock or are you, are you looking for maybe a win this year or do you think just running consistent? Uh, running consistent is always going to be good, but I'm looking to win this thing. I want to move up to a sprint car. I want to be, I want to move on in my racing career. I don't always want to be hanging around one track. I want to go places like my brother. He's off in uh, Granby racing this weekend up in Quebec, and I uh, wish him luck. Hope he does all right tonight and uh, tomorrow night for that big uh, $5,000 purse they got up there. Well, you, you did get in the sprint car last year on the Saturday of the Canadian Sprint Car Nationals of all nights because your brother was actually involved in a hockey game. And uh, talk about the uh, what it felt like going out there on the track the first time in that car. Wow, that thing's just a, they're just a different animal, and I just love to race one of those. I just, <laughs> they're just unbelievable how fast they are, and the pedal's just right there on those things, and they're just unbelievably light, and I can't, I can't wait to jump into one next year. Have you had very many test laps in one other than that night? Nope. First ever time in a sprint car, and uh, <laughs> hopefully it's not my last. Well, your family is really heavily involved in hockey, and uh, we see a lot of racers in southern Ontario who are also pretty good on the ice as well. What do you think is, uh, is the, uh, the correlation between the two? Uh, we're just good old Canadian boys. We like to play fast sports. We like our racing. We like playing hockey. Well, there he is, Jake Brown, the latest member of the Brown family to jump up into the full-size race cars. For OntarioOval.com, I'm Tommy Gooch.